Hello and welcome to QuickSight.com's tutorial series. What we're going to go over in this video is some common misconceptions and confusions that people face when first um, getting familiar with their application and new website. The first thing to do is with your website go to your main domain name and type administrator and this will take you to your login screen. And I'm just going to show you a few things that, uh, like I said, cause people some common confusion. Um, first, let's go over Front Page Manager. Obviously, a lot of people get confused and think that that's where they go to change the first page on their site. Um, that is not the case. Front Page is simply the name of a tool um, that kind of has blog-like features and qualities about it. Where you actually go to change what page shows first is actually in your menu manager and this gold star here under the default column will tell which item to show first. So your front page manager found under the content link has nothing to do with what actually shows on your front page. Um, of course you could make it show on the front page but that's not uh, where to go to change the first page of your site. Something else to look out for confusion wise is article manager. Uh, whenever you see the word article simply think web, web page. Um, an article does not simply have to be limited to text or words. It can, uh, can certainly have videos, pictures, and other media content involved with it. So uh, article manager is basically your web page manager. And what you're going to want to do before you actually make web pages in your article manager is you want to go into your section manager and your category manager and you're going to want to lay out sections and categories and the best way to look at this is to think of a section like a file cabinet and the category as the drawers that go in that file cabinet and that is basically a good way to look at it and to create those to design and organize your content. Finally what we'll go over is templates and that's under extensions in your template manager. One thing to be aware of about templates is that each template with Joomla 1.5 is going to be specific from the designer's point of view. Um, in Joomla 1.0 uh, basically the designer kind of had to make it to certain specifications to make sure it worked with the platform. But with Joomla 1.5 there's a lot more flexibility and um, different template designers and template makers actually uh, design and make different templates that do different things. And a template is broken off in sections just like a football field is. Uh, you know on one end of the football field you've got an end zone, you got midfield, um, same thing with your website, and these are actually called module positions. Um, but the area of confusion I wish to alleviate for you is that each template is going to be different. It's going to have its own module positions defined for it, and a picture kind of like this one right here is something that you'll need either from the template maker or there's also other ways to get this information. Um, but just understand that each new template will have different module um, areas already specified for it, which just lends to the uh, flexibility of all the different templates and the different things they can do for you. And finally, the last thing I would say to kind of help you have the correct mindset before you begin editing is that um, this platform works best by usually going into your content manager and components area first and populating your banners, populating your contacts, populating your news feeds, your web links, and creating your web pages, and then organizing those into the sections and categories you created. Then once everything is populated, we'll go into sections about menu items and modules. But for now, that's just to give you a little heads up on a few things that might cause you a roadblock, and I hope it helps. Uh, look forward to the next tutorial. It'll have more information. We'll be diving into how to go into the global configuration and make some basic configuration changes to your site.